Working on tube six right there. Uh, you can see he's done a lot of experimentation on what auxiliary components work the best. Right. So we started off using these poly science heaters and chillers. Mm -hmm. We discovered it would be more effective if we used a more robust chiller okay. so that your lavas get down to much colder temperatures. Right. The colder you run, the fewer extraneous things you're going to pull out of the plant and the less filtering you'll have to do in winterization. It's a work in progress. Right. Sourcing these components is always a challenge. Right. And, and the, the, the thing that you realize is, as you go through, you think you have it all figured out, and you go, hey, we got to change this up, or we got to modify it. Yeah. Exactly. Like, when we first upfitted the building, you know, it was a huge expense. Right. And uh, we thought, well, we don't need air conditioning back there. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I mean, the first, I think we opened in May, and by May 31st, that holiday, it was like 120 degrees in here. None of the chillers were working. We right. forget the people. The equipment wasn't running, so we right. had to put AC in. Right. And those are the things that we talk about. I know for me, as we were going through and you think, hey, you, you have an idea and you learn, you know, I, I have it figured out. And then kind of Murphy's Law happens along the way. Yeah. And then you're going, wait a minute. It's not exactly the way I planned it out. It's kind of like we plan and God laughs. And I, that's what I've saw along the way. How, like the AC, what are some other things that you think that you've seen well, that it's like, oh my God. Some of the improvements, for instance, uh, our first prototype system, you see how it's wrapped in that insulated material? Right. That's because when you're putting the LPG into the tube for the biomass, it's freezing cold. Well, then you get all this condensation. Right. So we were having like massive puddles. Mm -hmm. So now we've beefed up our tubes and added a thicker layer of insulation, right. which worked when we were still using the poly science chiller. Right. When we went to the Jalabo chillers, we were still getting like ice everywhere, right. and puddles. So it's like you got to keep going. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's rev one, two, three, four. Exactly. Multiple. And you see that stuff through actually operating versus, and I say the actuality of it versus the the idea of it. That's and a lot right. of people, you'll have the idea and the concept, but then when you don't implement it, you're really running through it. Because we're designing it and using it. Right. So, you know, you got the engineer comes over like, oh, I see where I can improve this. Right. That is very different. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Because you're, you're creating evolving. it and using it. Yeah. So, so it's a back and forth. And, and right. Colin has been instrumental in giving us feedback on his experience. Mm -hmm. And then we put that all into the System right, design. and you think about the average person using your equipment. If they don't have that, it makes it very difficult. And even for you, when you think about, you would have to create a division just to handle maintenance or, you know, service calls on these some of these people if they were up and running. You know, we do, and that's where it's nice uh, having our packaging equipment company, right? Because we already have those talented service techs and engineers. Right. So yeah, that does make sense. Online. But Man. regulations too, as someone involved in cultivation, right. you know that that's challenging. Right. That's that's got to be a challenge for your geneticist dealing right. with the new guidelines for right. the USDA. Yeah. Well, the same thing like fire codes change. Right. So the first system we designed, they were okay with us putting uh, in this penetration plate that just has a lot of this kind of sprayed insulation. Yeah. Well, now we went to stricter states like Colorado, and they're like, right. we're not okay with that. We have right. fires here. So now we have a, a new penetration plate that has uh, blocks that you can move around as you add different components. Right.